Hey y'all, um, I know I look crazy, but I am in the bed. <sighs> I decided to, um, you know, share some of the stuff that's going on with me. <laughs> <coughs> So, um, <coughs> I got COVID in, um, March. Um, I went to a friend's house and me and another person got COVID. Um, we were the only two that were infected from what I know. Um, I don't want to tell that other person's story, but from what I heard, hers was pretty, her, um, COVID situation was pretty intense. I was really sick for a couple weeks, but then once I was COVID free, it was just like, my lungs had just never been the same. Um, <clears throat> I go through phases of being okay and then I'll have an episode what I call an episode where I can't breathe my lungs are inflamed um I have s severe mucus buildup but the main like the consistent thing that I've been experiencing is I'm having to use my inhaler to basically get through the day to survive to be able to breathe um my whole family is asthmatic however mine has never affected me like this i only needed it if i got a severe flu so the most i would use my inhaler is like two or three times a year and now i'm using it two three four times a day when it's bad when i'm not having an episode there's days I don't need it. <laughs> There's days I don't need it. There's days I only need it maybe once. This episode, I was able to get by for, I believe, eight days before I needed to use it to just clear my airway. And the thing about inhalers is that they're not for maintenance. They're for emergency situations. You're so only supposed to need them in emergency situations and they shouldn't be as frequent as mine are. I was sick two weeks ago and I'm sick again today. <laughs> I know I sound bad, I'm congested, I have a cough, but this is actually me on the mend. <laughs> <coughs> <clears throat> I'm tired y'all my chest my lungs like they've been working hard they're so sore hmm. anyway I ended up having to go to the urgent care today um because it got to the point where I was just like this is too much I can't breathe and I'm having to use this inhaler way too much like there has to be a resolution and I have a primary appointment on Wednesday, no, Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday, this is Sunday. And I said, you know what? I want to rule out COVID because I know that's the, their go-to, doctor's go-to, you have COVID or have you been tested for COVID? So I wanted to get that out of the way so that we could really get to the root of what's going on. So I went to urgent care <sighs> and she's saying that even though, you know, I'm having the sneezing and the coughing and the tiredness. When she put her, I think it's the tethoscope, whatever, um, on my chest, I'm definitely wheezing, I'm definitely congested. And I asked her if this was a cold or a flu and she said, no, this is your asthma. This is your lungs um, that are inflamed and it could have started as COVID. It could have started as a cold, flu, but you've been sick for too long. This is starting to, well, not starting. It is affecting your lungs. And your next thing you need to do is go to a pulmonologist. So 
<clears throat> she prescribes me a steroid to help open up my airway. Another inhaler, because I'm going through those like candy, y'all. Like candy. And um, an antibiotic. So I'm hoping that within a few days, she said I should feel a little bit better. But it's going to take time for my, my lungs to open up. But this is just a, a quick fix once again. Like I really need to see where my lungs are. So this next steps is for me to go to my primary, them to make a referral for my for a pulmonologist, and then them to see where my lung strength is, where my lungs are. And I talked to my my aunt. She's a registered nurse, among other things. Like she's a boss in the medical field. I don't know all of her medical titles or whatever, but she was saying that more than likely there's possibility that I have, um, what did she say, scarring on my lungs. And they need to get a baseline for where my lungs, lungs are now. <clears throat> and then, um, I might have to be put on something that I take daily that is long acting because an inhaler is just short, short acting. It just, it's for that moment. It's not to fix the problem. My brother takes Advair, um, which is what she was, one of the, the medications that she was referring to and he's been successful. His lungs have collapsed two or three times when he was a child. He almost died on us two or three times. And now just to survive, he has to take the Advair every day. If he goes without it for a couple days, like it's a visual difference. He's weak, his eyes are weak, he can't breathe, he's coughing. Um, so he knows he has to take it and that's for the rest of his life. I didn't, I would never have wanted to be in this predicament, but I can't live my life not breathing either and being up and down, up and down. I'm tired, y'all. I'm tired. And when I'm good, I'm good. I'm able to beast in my workouts. Like, I can keep up with the best of them and not have any asthma issues because my asthma is not related to exercise. But when I'm down, I'm down. I took the first round of medications and like I said, this is me better. Like this is me with a um, notable change. Um, I know it doesn't seem like it, but I was definitely a lot worse than I, what I am now. And I'm trying not to, like my mind starts to go to like blame and being anger, angry, you know, at the person I don't want to go down that route because I just I don't want to live my life like that I don't want to be in a negative space so I'm trying to fix it and not allow this to ruin my quality of life any more than it has I should say but I know this is a long conversation I just wanted to um <laughs> I just wanted to like tell someone the only people who know I've been going through this is my grandmother my dad and my boss I haven't told anyone else but I just wanted to put this out here you know because I know some people think COVID is a joke it's not serious. But one thing my aunt said on the phone today is just, that's all the patients she's been seeing today is people with lung issues after COVID. You know, she's been having to give breathing treatments and medications and Advair and um, inhalers, albuterol. Like, that's all that's going on right now. Like, this truly affects your lungs, your breathing. And you think that it's, that's not a big deal, but your breathing is what keeps your body functioning. And when your body has to work hard to get breath, to breathe, it affects everything else. I'm so tired. I just got out of the shower. Normally I can take a 30 minute shower. 
I mean, I'll be in there with my candles, lights off, music playing, and I could barely do a few minutes because I'm so tired. <sighs> Even now, I said, let me make this, and then I'm going back to sleep because I'm just, I'm wore out. I'll keep you guys posted on my health, um, and we'll just kind of go from there. This is hard for me to even share this because I'm always the strong friend. I'm always the one that people don't know go through things. I keep it to myself. I keep it close to me. <laughs> but I'm trying to do better about being vulnerable and, you know, it's sharing my experiences because other people can learn from it. I wouldn't wish this on anybody, man. I'm trying so hard, y'all, to not be angry. I'm trying so hard. I don't want to live in that space. Anyway, I'll keep you guys posted. Bye.